when it comes to setting up a home theater, the TV may come first, but equally important is improving sound quality. Sound bars offer a lot of performance in a compact package and cost much less to get up and running than a speaker system. A top home theater system can give you a great audio experience to rival a more complex setup. A killer surround sound speaker system will give you goosebumps. Feel free to check out the links in the video description and like, comment, and subscribe to receive the notification about our latest videos. Number 6. TCL Alto 8i 2.1 Channel Dolby Atmos Soundbar The TCL Alto 8i is a 2.1 setup advertised by Roku TV Ready, so it should be easy to pair with your Roku TV. You can use it to play Dolby Atmos content and it gets pretty loud, although there are some compression artifacts present at max volume. It's mostly made of plastic. There's a tight fabric wrapped around the bar which could collect dust and get dirty. The TCL Alto 8A is okay for mixed usage. Its sound profile is a bit dark and boomy due to the extra warmth in the bass and the recessed treble. The setup doesn't have a dedicated subwoofer. Instead, there are two subs built into the bar. The TCL Alto 8A 2.1 isn't very wide, so it shouldn't fit between the legs of the most 55-inch TV stand. Number 5. Sony HTA 5000 5.1.2 inch Dolby Atmos Home Theater. The Sony HTA 5000 comes with two subwoofers integrated into the bar. You can find them to the left and the right of the content speaker. The Sony HTA 5000 is a simple, sleek sound bar. It's mostly made of a solid texturized plastic and there's a metal grill cover the front. You can purchase FARS 3S rear speaker for the Sony HTA 5000 from the manufacturer separately. The Sony HTA 5000 is a fairly wide soundbar, so it likely won't fit between the legs of a 55-inch TV stand. The back of the bar has some openings for the power cable and the inputs. There are also holes under the bar that let you mount it to the wall. The Sony HTA 5000 has a great build quality. The soundbar is mostly made of texturized plastic, which feels solid and durable. Number 4. Marshall Stanmore 2 the handsome Stanmo 2 Bluetooth follows the same basic concept as the rest of Marshall's offerings but looks like a miniature grill guitar AMP but at 7.7 by 13.8 by 7.3 inches and 10.3 pounds, it makes for a fairly bulky speaker. The control panel up top houses knobs for volume, bass and treble as well as a power switch, a player pulse button and an audio source button for switching between Bluetooth mode and AUX or RCA modes. There's a 3.5mm AUX input up top and an RCA input on the rear panel. The Stanmo 2 Bluetooth packs dual 15W tweeters and a single 15W woofer, delivering a frequency range of 50Hz to 20KHz. The Marshall Bluetooth app is free and delivers firmware updates for the speaker. It also allows you to use custom EQ presets to create your own. Number 3. JBL Bar 5.1 the JBL Bar 5.1 Surrounds is a 5.1 setup that uses multi-beam technology to improve its surround performance without having to use rare satellites. The JBL Bar 5.1 is alright for mixed use. The soundbar delivers a punchy and boomy sound suitable for bass, heavy music and action-packed movies. It only has two EQ pressers and it doesn't support Atmos. While it can also get loud enough for a larger crowded room, there's also thumping and compression artifacts at max volume. The subwoofer of this soundbar sits on four plastic pegs as the speaker is located underneath. The soundbar most likely won't fit between the legs of a 55-inch TV. However, it's not very tall so it shouldn't block the bottom of your TV screen unless it sits flush to onto the table. Number 2. KF LS X2 the KEF LSX launched way back in 2018 and the diminutive speaker system made an immediate impact. The speakers use the same version of KEF 11th generation Uni-Q driver as found in their predecessor. However, perhaps surprisingly, there is no room for KEF metamaterial absorption technology, although KEF added a couple of extra connectivity options which you will spot on the rear of the left speaker but more on this later. Amplifications won again in amounts of 200 watts with 30 watt going to the Twitter and 70 watt to the woofer on each channel. The big news for LSX R2 is the addition of a couple of extra physical inputs on the speakers themselves. The first is HDMI ARC and the second is a USB-C connection for connecting to a TV or laptop respectively. Number 1. Bose Smart Soundbird 700 The Bose Smart Soundbird 700 is a 3.1 soundbird with a unique premium design. 
The soundbird has side firing speakers that can make sound bounce off your walls, resulting in an extremely wide sound stage. It has a well balanced sound profile that makes it suitable for listening to a wide variety of music genre. However, it lacks some low bass, but you can also get a separate subwoofer, which should help with the bass performance. The Bass Smart Soundbar 700 has a fairly large bar that will likely not fit between the legs of a 55 inch TV stand. The back of the bar has two ports, one on each side of the speaker and two openings, one for the power cord and one for the input. It has a unique design with a premium flow and the entire setup is very robust and sturdy.